Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading from A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 328. I choose the second place to gain the first. What seems to be the second place is first, for all things we perceive are upside down until we listen to the voice of God. It seems that we will gain autonomy, but by our striving to be separate, and that our independence from the rest of God's creation is the way in which salvation is obtained. Yet all we find is sickness, suffering, loss, and death. This is not what our Father wills for us, nor is there any second to his will. To join with his is but to find our own. And since our will is his, it is to him that we must go to recognize our will. There is no will but yours, and I am glad that nothing I imagine contradicts that you would have me be. It is your will that I be wholly safe, eternally at peace. And happily I share that will which you, my Father, gave as part of me. I'll read it again. I choose the second place to gain the first. What seems to be the second place is first, for all things we perceive are upside down until we listen to the voice for God. It seems that we will gain autonomy, but by our striving to be separate and that our independence from the, God, the rest of God's creation is the way in which salvation is obtained. Yet all we find is sickness, suffering, loss, and death. This is not what our Father wills for us, nor is there any second to his will. To join with his, but to find our own. To join with his is but to find our own. And since our will is his, it is to him that we must go to recognize our will. There is, no, there is no will but yours, and I am glad that nothing I imagine contradicts what you would have me be. It is your will that I be wholly safe, eternally at peace, and happily I share that will which you, my Father, gave as part of me. Well, this is not the easiest uh, lesson to absorb. But basically what it's saying here is there's only one will. It's God's will in our life. And so, again, building on the previous lessons, God willed us, in each of us, into our own lives to live each of our individual lives so that God could experience each of our individual lives. God is not up above us watching us in this play. God is living this play through each one of us. So in order to discover the will that God has in your life is to go inward and to listen to the voice for God, which is your heart. You listen to your heart. What draws you to do things? What, what do you care about? What's important to you? What makes you sing in your body? This, these are the answers to what is God's will. When you are separate, you think that, you're, that God's will is sickness and suffering and loss and death. That's separation consciousness. That is not unity consciousness. That is not the mind of God. When you understand that as God in you, you are always safe and eternally at peace. That's the truth. 
That doesn't mean that in your physical form, you might not have a challenging uh, event in your physical form. It might even be frightening in your physical form. That doesn't contradict the fact that God is having the experience through you. It is the desire of divinity to have whatever experience you're having. All the while knowing that you are ultimately wholly safe and eternally at peace. It's a real breakthrough when you get it. So I'm here to help you get it. 907-351-3003. Texting is best. Um, message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or through my websites, lindalamp.com or lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow, namaste and much love. <laughs>